I feel like getting like all dressed up for YouTube videos is just not giving anymore. So this is the start of my new skincare business series. My first sit down video with you guys and we're going to be addressing who can make your skincare products. All right, so for your first option, it will be to find a manufacturer, okay? A manufacturer is somebody who manufacture products. They'll help you cosmetically formulate them. They'll just make your life a lot easier. You just pay them and they'll ship your products to you ready to be shipped out to your clients, okay? Um, the pros with this is you don't have to worry about formulation issues most likely. Less work on your hands if you're a busy person. Also good for somebody who is not the best at chemistry or math or any of that stuff. So you have the option of finding an overseas manufacturer Manufacturer or a US manufacturer. I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's gonna keep changing because I'm using natural lighting. When you are looking for a manufacturer for either overseas or domestics, some things you want to take into account. When you are doing overseas, take into account the cost of shipping and the quality. Some places that these people find their manufacturers, I'll have listed over here. For instance, you have AliExpress, you have Alibaba, you have Compass, you have eWorld Trade. You have India Mart. There's so many places that you can find overseas manufacturers. You just have to do your research. And then for domestic, it can be a little bit more pricey, but you don't usually have the risk of dealing with child labor issues, so being unsustainably sourced, work environments being more better. Ooh, that is a double positive. Some ways you can find domestic manufacturers is literally looking up US skincare manufacturers on Google. You also can go to like industry events, like skincare industry events, exhibitions. Will also lead you to some good manufacturers as well. Um, if you want, I do have a list that I am willing to offer you guys. That's something you guys are interested in. Besides that, that is all about manufacturing and how to find a manufacturer. Next would be private labeling slash wholesaling. Okay. They're similar, but they're not similar, okay? So private labeling, you probably are, most people don't private label this, but it's where they literally make your products, package them for you. It's kind of like drop shipping. And then there's wholesale. Wholesale, a lot of like small businesses offer wholesale. Bigger companies offer wholesale. So it's where they give you like a huge container of whatever product that you want to sell. And you just literally just jar it up yourself and package it and send it off. Where to find private labels and wholesale companies. Private labeling, Instagram. I'm not even being funny with you guys. Somehow I had got on private label advertisement on Instagram. Just a whole bunch of companies were popping up for private labeling. You just search private label, Instagram, or Google. You're gonna find some decent ones. But always do your research. Always test out the products before buying large orders. And always get the history behind their business, how long they've been doing it. And it's the same thing like with the manufacturing. You want to be with somebody who is not new to the game, who's been in it for a minute, who is familiar with formulations when it comes to stability and shelf life of your products. So, boom. Um, wholesale, ask. People don't know a lot of skincare businesses offer wholesale. It's just, you have to ask them. Um, small businesses and all. A lot of small businesses are willing to ship you a large container of their product. You just have to ask. And then there is homemade. I think homemade is one of the most popular right now in this era of life. Um, if you've ever been on TikTok, which you probably have, especially in 2020, you've seen so many people start skincare businesses, making their own products making body washes and scrubs and body butters. How to get started. I kind of went over this a little bit on my how to start a skincare business series. I used a lot of formulated websites as so making skincare, I mean, ooh, makingcosmetics.com, formulator shop. Ooh, is it called Soap Queen? Soapqueen.com, YouTube. I use a lot of YouTubers also help me formulate my products. Um, this one YouTuber, I think it's like Humble Bee, Humble and Bee, and she literally makes literally everything. I also watched this girl named Tara Lee, and another thing I loved about all of these YouTubers, they actually explain 
why they use each ingredient and what that ingredient does to make that product better or whatever work. That really helped me a lot when it came to formulating my products. So that is the homemade method. It's a lot of work, but I feel like it's the most rewarding. But yeah, that is it for today. Hope you learned something. Hope something was helpful. And look forward to this series. Hopefully this video goes up soon. Oh, my booty is like numb. Also, keep dropping down video ideas that you want me to talk about. I was going to say in Jesus' name, amen. But yeah, y'all, I will see y'all in my next video. Don't want to